Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. This is the first in a series of video reports and blog posts I plan to deliver to cover CoCreate 17. Now, let me start with a disclosure. I have never used the software until I received a review copy two weeks ago in the mail, courtesy of PTC. So let's start. CoCreate is what you would call a direct editing program. So I'm glad to say that it doesn't take a whole lot for me to figure it out on my own once I understand the slight deviation between its UI and others. In CoCreate, you use work planes to sketch and build geometry a lot of the time. After sketching a profile, instead of extruding the profile itself, as you might do in some other programs, you'll drag the work plane up or down to build that geometry. The navigation device in CoCreate is called Copilot. Get this, it's the pilot for CoCreate. This little rotating wheel with arrows that's the co-pilot. You'll recognize a similar navigation device in a rival direct editor called Solid Edge with synchronous technology. A few words about the selection methods. If you click on the middle of a surface, you select the face itself. If you select a vertice, you get the entire object selected. If you draw a rectangle to select, you get what's within that selection window. Moving up or down is fairly straightforward. And if you click on the wheel, you get rotating options, either to rotate the entire part, a feature, or the selected face itself. Clicking on the middle mouse wheel, terminate and execute the operation. In many cases, in addition to the right-click menu, you can also activate additional options by hitting the spacebar. When you do that in the sketch mode, like I did here, I get this option to perform relative measurement, among other things. Relative measurement is a good method to place objects at the right distance in vertical and horizontal positions. Once again, as I'm starting a circle here, if I hit the spacebar, I get the option to draw the circle that touches the line instead of starting the circle center on the line itself. When I'm moving a feature, I have the option to slide the feature along in parallel to a certain edge, or any edge that is nearby that I'd like to choose as my guidance for that matter. For better precision, I can also use the distance arrow a little red and green arrow to precisely position my measurement. In this case, I'm going to measure it from the edge to the center axis of the circle, and then I'll just enter the numeric value so that I know my center of the circle is at a precise distance from the edge that I want to measure it from. In CoCreate, when you save a part, you need to specify, and by that I mean Pick that in the screen to identify what it is that you're saving. I think CoCreate is best used for conceptual design phase, where you're more likely to entertain wild, crazy geometry that you would not otherwise consider when you're in mid-project or you're already ready for production. I'm planning to explore how it handles imported geometry, how it deals with analysis, simulation, sheet metal, and many other features. In the coming months, I'll report on that. So stay tuned. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong flying through CoCreate with his co-pilot.